Think you know everything about Disney World? We bet you haven't come across everything on this list. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. All right, Disney pros, today we're looking at some of the hardest to find hidden details all around Walt Disney World. Some of these you may have heard of before, but we bet you haven't spotted everything on this list. And honestly, probably not even 50% of it. So if you think you know everything about Disney World, watch this. And if you want to get a list of these awesome hidden details, so you know just where to find them on your next trip to Disney World, head to DisneyFoodBlog.com slash hidden details to get a free printable list of some of the coolest, hardest to find secrets around the parks. All right, first up, that fake waterfall in Pandora. There is a lot of incredible imagineering in Animal Kingdom's Pandora. The design of pretty much the whole land is based on forced perspective and illusions. And one of the hardest ones to spot, but one of the most impressive, is the fake waterfall. There are several real waterfalls around Pandora, but if you look above the entrance to Flight of Passage at the top of the mountain, you'll spot the fake one. Forced perspective makes it appear that this waterfall is really high up and really far away. Now it's actually a rotating wheel that's made to look like water, but it falls slower than water to help give the illusion that it's much further away. The base even has a white mesh that looks like mist, especially from far away. Now, have you ever caught this one before? If so, let us know in the comments. Huge thanks to the coaster crew for permission to use their footage of the fake waterfall in Pandora. This thing is hard to spot and even harder to capture on camera. They did a great job. All right, the hidden sword in Norway. As you're headed to Frozen Ever After, way back in the Norway pavilion of Epcot, keep an eye out for a hidden prop that is really hard to spot. Behind the waterfall, yep, more waterfalls, is a Viking sword. And on most days, that waterfall is running, so it's practically impossible to spot this Viking sword. But if that waterfall is under refurb and the water's turned off, it's clearly there. Now this one harkens back to when this ride was Maelstrom. All right, those hidden characters in Epcot. During Festival of the Arts in January and February, there's a chance to go on a fun scavenger hunt through World Showcase. These characters are hidden and tucked away in the pavilions, so look around windows or doorways and in corners. We spotted Dante on the Pyramid in Mexico, the Aristocats on a wall in France, Mushu in China, Peter Pan in the UK, and a whole bunch more. If you're at Epcot at the beginning of the year, be sure to keep your eyes peeled. All right, number four, that purple Martin migration. Now this next one, you need to be in the right place at the right time. And you're at the whim of some actual nature. <laughs> These are birds. Purple Martins go on a 3,000 mile migration every year and travel between the Amazon in Brazil and Epcot in Disney World. You may have spotted those little white dome things on poles around the park, so we've seen them in Epcot and Animal Kingdom before. Those are the bird houses. The purple Martins typically start arriving in January and stick around into May. Number five are those Instagram walls. You might know about the purple wall next to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor and the bubblegum wall by Spaceship Earth, but how about these other less conspicuous walls? Oh, and if you're not in on the Instagram wall craze, just know that they're cute designed walls that loads of people use as backdrops for photos. Some of them even have their own Instagram account. The Galaxy Wall is located by the Future Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Coaster. It's actually part of the construction wall. The Candy Stripe Wall is the Main Street Confectionery. The You Are Most Beautiful and Feed Schwa Fellow Walls are both tucked in Harambe in Animal Kingdom's Africa. The Most Beautiful Wall is actually a backstage entrance for cast members. Just remember that when you're snapping a pic. And the exit of Toy Story Mania is home to the Popsicle Wall. And for a super secret wall in Hollywood Studios, you'll need to ride Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run as you're about to enter Enter the cockpit, you'll pass the wall where Han and Leia shared their first kiss. All right, we've got more from Galaxy's Edge for the next two on our list. First up, those droid tracks. Pretty much anywhere you look in Galaxy's Edge, you'll spot droid tracks on the ground. But some of those tracks have closer ties to the films than you'd expect. The original R2-D2 that was used in the films was used to create a mold for the R2 unit tracks you'll see on the ground. Imagineers took a rubbing of his wheels to create a trolley system that would make the markings in wet cement and the Rathar in Carbonite. As you're exiting the Millennium Falcon, keep an eye out for a very big hidden detail. If you're coming down the right hallway, there's pretty much no way you can miss it because it takes up the whole wall. It's a Rathar in Carbonite. Not so scary now that it's not gobbling up galactic heroes in a sandpit, but still very striking. 
All right, let's talk about those lanterns in Liberty Square. Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom is home to a lot of hidden details. The Brown River, a very historically accurate depiction of the lack of indoor plumbing, and the fact that there are no bathrooms in the land. You can check it out in our Magic Kingdom Secrets video here. But one of the coolest hidden details is one that is easily overlooked. The Liberty Tree in the land, that big live oak, was actually moved from the edge of Disney World property to that location. Hanging from its branches are 13 lanterns that represent the original 13 colonies. And another great one in Magic Kingdom, I love this, is the Hidden Oswald. Outside of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train in Magic Kingdom, you can spot a hidden detail that's a shout out to one of Walt Disney's first ever animated characters. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. There are three pebbles in the path between Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and Enchanted Tales with Belle, but instead of making a hidden Mickey, they make a hidden Oswald. All right, let's talk about those Adventureland hieroglyphs. Right next to the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse in Adventureland, there's a seating area, which if you've grabbed a dollop from Sunshine Tree Terrace, maybe you've sat there. But have you ever noticed the hieroglyphs? There's quite a few animals and pictographs etched into the stone, and you can even spot a hidden Mickey. Also in Magic Kingdom, just behind Cinderella Castle, is a fountain with a statue of Cinderella in the center. Behind her is a painting of a crown. Now, if you're not at the right height, this is just kind of in the middle of the wall. But if you look at it from the right angle, like from a child's height, the crown seems to sit perfectly on Cinderella's head. Now, what's wonderful about this is that Cinderella is in her original clothing, not her ball gown. And so it's sort of a foreshadowing of what will happen later in the story. All right, let's head over to Pinocchio Village House. Now, when you are at PVH, there are two special places that you can sit. The first is over to the left of the ordering area where you can sit and actually wave to all the people who are riding It's a Small World. The second place is upstairs. A lot of people don't know that Pinocchio Village House has an upstairs, but it does. You can go up and actually sit on the balcony of Pinocchio Village House to have your meal. But that's not what we're actually talking about here in this video. There's actually another hidden secret that we want to tell you about, and not everybody knows about this. Near the entrance to the restaurant, you'll find the wishing book. You can actually write your wish in there and it'll be granted by the Blue Fairy. So go find the book. A lot of people don't know about it and make sure your kids write their wishes inside. Number 13 is the most elusive hidden Mickey. Now, I know many of you haven't seen this one because you can only see it once a year at noon exactly. This is a true Imagineering feat. In the queue of Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid, there's a configuration of rocks, and when the sun hits them just right at noon on November 18th, a hidden Mickey will appear on the wall. Why November 18th? Well, that's Mickey's birthday. All right, heading somewhere else in Magic Kingdom here, transition to Adventureland. You might not have noticed before, but the outside of Crystal Palace has two very different styles depending on what side of the building you're on. The side closest to Main Street has Victorian lamps, while the side closest to Adventureland has awnings and a ton more plants, signifying your transition from one land to the next. You'll also see this kind of transition at Columbia Harbor House as you move from Liberty Square into Fantasyland. Now let's head back over to Cinderella Castle, where if you look at the archway on the backside of the castle on the balcony, you'll spot a family crest. And this is actually the crest of the Disney family. You can try to find your own family crest in the UK Pavilion in Epcot. They do have a shop with a book of family crests and you can purchase yours to bring home. All right, we're going to Disney Springs for the next one. At Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar in Disney Springs, you'll spot plenty of artifacts and hidden nods to the Indiana Jones franchise. Look up on a shelf near the ceiling and you'll spot the idol from Raiders of the Lost Ark. But there's a hidden detail giving a nod to one of Steven Spielberg's other films, Jurassic Park. There's a shadow box at the outside bar with a T-Rex tooth inside and a note, Jock, thanks for getting us off the island, SS. It was donated by Steven Spielberg and he even signed it. The actor who played Jock Lindsay in Indiana Jones is a real life pilot named Fred Sorensen who literally rescued the Jurassic Park crew from Kauai when a hurricane hit. Now, FYI, there's a lot more going on at Jock Lindsay's hangar bar when it comes to Star Wars as well. Lots of hidden details in there from Star Wars too. We've mentioned them in our other videos though, so definitely check those out. All right, let's talk about those reused animatronics. Now, Disney Imagineers are experts at reusing set pieces and animatronics. And over the years, they've incorporated the same animatronics into multiple rides and shows. 
The Gravedigger from Haunted Mansion is also in Jungle Cruise. He's the guy being chased by a rhino, getting the point in the end. Also in Haunted Mansion, there's an old woman in the ballroom scene, who you'll also see in Carousel of Progress. In Spaceship Earth, you're going to see several presidents from Hall of Presidents. Andrew Jackson is working a printing press, and Dwight Eisenhower has transported to the Renaissance and picked up a mandolin, and William Taft went back to ancient Egypt. And I might be wrong about this, but I really do think I see Abraham Lincoln in ancient Greece. All right, let's talk about those hidden books in Belle's library. Enchanted Tales with Belle has some incredible details, like that amazing mirror trick in the pre-show, and you can see more about how that works in this video. But once you make it into Belle's library, keep an eye out for two books next to each other with the initials HM and AM for Howard Ashman and Alan Menken, composers of the soundtrack. Now here's a super sweet one. Outside of Ye Olde Christmas Shop in Magic Kingdom, there's a small heart-shaped sign that reads Keppel, established 1779. The part of the store you walk into through that doorway is designed to look like a house, and the name Keppel is homage to Walt's grandfather. His name was Keppel Elias Disney. All right, here's another interesting Magic Kingdom one. You may have noticed the Robin sitting outside the window in Carousel of Progress, but have you ever thought that Robin looked familiar? It's actually the same one that was used in Mary Poppins. So next time you're on Carousel of Progress, remember there's a movie star present. All right, now we talk a lot on the channel about the original journey into imagination over in Epcot. If you don't know the whole history, check out our video on it and a few other changes people totally hated in Disney World. The original version of the ride though featured a character called the Dream Finder. He was cut from the ride when it was renovated, but you'll still find a door inside the Imagination Institute that reads Dean Finder. Now there are several other sight gags and wordplay gags in imagination as well. So even if you don't think it's worth writing, it may be worth going on just once or twice. All right, let's talk Roger Rabbit, you guys. You may not be able to ride Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin on the East Coast, but you can still find the character in Hollywood Studios. If you look in the windows above Hollywood and Vine, you'll spot the silhouette of Roger Rabbit, and right next to it is a window for Eddie Valiant's detective agency. He's the detective in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Bonus fact of something you can't find in the parks because it was never made, there was a planned mini Roger Rabbit land that would be located at the end of Sunset Boulevard, where Rock and Roller Coaster is now. That would have had three attractions, including Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin, which you can still ride in Disneyland somehow. It's crazy to me that you can, but you can. All right, this is one of my favorite hidden secrets. Muppet Vision 3D in Hollywood Studios has some fun gags outside and in the queue pre-show area, like the backstage door painted in Disney's signature go away green that says nothing to see here. But before you even go inside, just by the entrance, you'll see a sign that says back in five minutes, key is under the mat. And sure enough, if you lift that mat, there's a key under it. Now don't worry, your kids can't pick it up. It's pretty much stuck down and we don't have to talk about why I know that. Oh, I love this one. This one's brand new. Also in Hollywood Studios, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is full of hidden details and references. The train whistle is the same whistle sound from the original Mickey cartoon, Steamboat Willie. And you'll also spot 1928 on an archway in the ride, a nod to the year Steamboat Willie debuted. But in the carnival scene, look out for a poster advertising the great moving ride. This is a nod to the previous attraction that occupied the space, of course, the great movie ride. All right, and our last one, number 25, the Stone Dragon. This is another homage to an entire land that was never built. When you walk into Pandora in Animal Kingdom, look to the right side of the bridge, and just on the edge of the river is a stone dragon. This is left over from when the land was supposed to become Beastly Kingdom, a land based on mythical creatures. All right, you guys, now be honest, how many of those did you really, really know about? If you knew about all of them, you are a Disney World Hidden Secrets pro for sure. Now, of course, we've got tons of other Disney World Hidden Secrets videos. Definitely go check them out. They're so much fun to watch, and I hear from you guys a lot how much you love those and that those are some of your favorite videos that we do. So thank you, thank you so much for that feedback. And don't forget to go to DisneyFoodBlog.com slash hidden details to get your free printable download of this whole list. So as always, I want to thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being part of our family here at DFB. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.